What a battle we've got on here between the Kenyans and fair play to Mel Carmo. She is giving as good as she is getting. She's holding on in uh, fourth position, although <laughs> as I say that, she goes back down to fifth because the Kenyans are just going out on the attack, all out on the attack. Well, you have to say that I think that uh, for the time that she's done, she is underperformed at major championships. She was silver medalist behind uh, Tiranesh de Barber at the African Championships, although that's no disgrace when you look at her record. At comes past Lynette Massa and she might not even get the fourth place. She has Chirona on her back as well. Massa, Melkama in third place over, but here comes Lynette Massa again. Melkama has got nothing less, but Lynette Massa gets the bronze. It's a one, two, three again. What a day for Kenyan athletics. What a race. What a final lap, just breathtaking stuff. Wonderful from uh, Chariot and Kipiego in the first half of that final lap. They left the other two for dead, the other three for dead rather. Melkamu did so well, it looked like she was going to take third, but uh, Masai just found a second win from absolutely nowhere in the final 200 metres. Thrilling stuff and wonderful from the Kenyans. Well, Shalane Flanagan, who took bronze medal at the Olympics, comes across a long way behind there the others coming Felix comes across the line as if she's just won it but Vivian Cherry the reigning world African and Commonwealth champion at 5,000 meters debuts at 10,000 meters and takes the gold again what a run and the silver medal going there to Sally Kip Yeager who can hardly believe it herself she was the fastest in the field coming into this but she's more than happy with a silver medal beating the defending champion Lynette Masai and the Kenyan team watching on from the stands but they found but now the strength of depth of the Kenyans has come up to include the world beaters as well again on the track and they really have deserved it athletes here like uh, Florence Kiplagat even in the World Cross Country Championships leading the way a couple of years ago at the start of the rise, followed on by Lynette Masai, and now Vivian Chariot. Are we witnessing really are the, 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 the start, Angus, of another long period of domination? We saw this morning a 1-2-3 in the marathon, a 1-2-3 in the 10,000 metres. What a day, what a championship this, this could turn out to be for Kenya. Well, it's, I think it's still a great result for Lynette Masai. Vivian Chariot is 27, she's six years older than 21-year-old Lynette Masai, who, don't forget, became the world champion at the age of 19. Big hugs all round between Chariot and uh, Sally Kipiego, 25 years old. And she could hardly believe it, but she picked up the silver medal. I think she fully expected Lynette Masai to come past her. It's one thing sending fast times in the year. There's a different kind of mentality that you need when you come to the major championships. Representing Kenya, Lynette Masai. Well, the defending champion didn't quite manage to defend her title, but she comes away with a bronze medal. She's got three silver medals at the World Cross Country Championships. She thought that uh, she might end that run earlier on this year. But she's only 21 years old. She is developing into a huge talent. But of course, having won the title at 19 two years ago, the expectations are so high. Sally Kipiego came into this race, the fastest woman in the world this year. She comes out of it with a silver medal. She was delighted with that. And well, she might be. She split the two big Kenyan stars. However, it's the pocket dynamo herself. Commonwealth Games champion, champion for Africa and the world champion at 5,000 meters. And she steps up onto the podium to claim her first major title over 10,000 meters. What a run, what an athlete. She's a little bit older than the other two. Certainly wouldn't know it when you look at her. But she has developed now into the real deal. She used to be the woman that chased Tiranesh de Barber around the track, no longer.
And a wonderful moment for Kenya, and you get the feeling that it's uh, going to be a national anthem we hear on numerous occasions over the uh, next few days.